First of all, Rustic is back open, right? And we you're about open. to open a brand new location right there at Post Oak and 610. I know. I'm so excited to be open. We are uh, we are probably about 30 days away. We're thinking the first week of July uh, we'll be open. We're just kind of slow playing it just to see where the climate is and um, how everything is going. But right now the Rustic downtown is open and fully operational and doing well. And we have live music seven nights a week, so it's a lot of fun. It's a great venue. Uh. It's so great. I know. Live music, food, drink, it does the heart and soul very good. So let's jump yeah. into it. You are making this Texas hot Caesar, and uh, my kids are major Caesar salad fans. They love it. So this is kind of kicked up a notch, though, right? Yeah, we, you know, obviously we're all kind of worried about the COVID-19 or the quarantine 15 and trying to fight that and get back into our summer <laughs> summer playing days. Um, but let me, let me start by asking... Little trivia. Where do you think that, what country do you think the Caesar salad was invented? Is it like a yeah. Julius oh, Caesar oh, reference? It's Mexico, isn't it? It was Mexico. Very good. Most people think it was invented in Italy. It was actually invented in Tijuana, Mexico. <laughs> wow. So, one of the things that we're trying to do at the Rustic, especially our new location in Uptown Park, is take classic items like a Caesar salad, but then put a little Texas twist on it. So I'm going to teach you how to make the dressing, a very simple dressing. You start with about a cup of mayo and you, the classics, you got to stay classic. So a classic Caesar, of course, has anchovies. We use anchovy paste, very strong, very potent. So just a little bit. Obviously, you got to have garlic. We use, again, a garlic paste. Uh, you can use fresh garlic as well if you want. Um, olive oil, of course, you need some extra virgin olive oil. Uh, we do about two tablespoons of that. And then here's how we get Texasized. So we do a little chili adobo or chipotle peppers. And not many people know this, but there is a uh, Texas pepper. It's actually called the Texas pepper. And it's three times hotter than a jalapeno. So it's you have to use it sparingly. Oh, wow. Just a little bit of it. So we put about a quarter teaspoon of that Texas pepper in there, dried and ground. And then we do just a squeeze of fresh lemon half of a lemon, and then give it a whisk. And all you want to do is just get these ingredients to come together all to the party, having a, having a little fun, all dancing around together, and that's it. Now, now that's a very simple spicy, not too spicy. It's, it's kind of got a low heat, uh, but just a, just a good Texas kick to it. Now, while that's sitting and coming together, croutons are also a big element of a Caesar dressing. Now, croutons are great if you like a, like a crusty bread to cut your mouth. Um, I don't really care for that, but I do like the crunch. So what we do is we make our croutons, crusty bread, a little olive oil, pepper, put it in the oven for at 300 degrees for about 10 minutes just to toast. And then what I like to do is I like to take these croutons, put them in a plastic bag. You can put them in a food processor too. I'm going to do it in a plastic bag for you uh, just because it's kind of noisy. Um, and then you just crunch these up. You can crunch them up with your hands, or if you have some some aggression you need to take out, you can beat them with a rolling pin. <laughs> you want to get down to kind of a bread crumb. Just that, that consistency, I don't know how well you can see it, but just a good crumble. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take uh, Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan cheese, equal parts bread crumb and Parmesan cheese. Yum. Give it a stir, a little pepper, a little salt, Give it a whisk, uh, and now we have our dressing. We have our Parmesan cheese crouton crumble. Now we've got to we've got to dress our salad. So romaine lettuce. We like to use baby romaine lettuce because it's nice and tender. It's soft. It's delicious. And what you're going to do is you're going to take about two tablespoons of this dressing. Get a nice drizzle over each leaf. You want to coat each leaf because. One of the things about a salad that I think is important is that every bite has perfect ratio of lettuce, yes. dressing, crouton, cheese. You want to get it all evenly coated. And then you're going to take this crouton parmesan crumble, give it a nice, nice dusting. Be generous with it. Be very liberal. And so you have the, the leaves in there nicely dressed. Give it a quick little toss. And now it's time to build. So this is a very, very simple Caesar. Oh my gosh. Now, what we do, we, we also serve it with grilled grilled salmon or we also, or grilled chicken. 
But if you're kind of just going light and lean, just the lettuce is fine because this ends up being a beautiful salad. My mouth is watering nice already. Kyle, we have less than a oh. minute left. So show us how you put it on this plate. And is this something, because it's the whole leaf, you still use a fork or is it okay to pick it up with your hands? This is a, this is a knife and fork guy. A little salt, a little pepper, a, lime, or a lemon, and you are ready to eat. So that is a beautiful, delicious Caesar salad. Different, it's a, it's a Texas mm. twist with those, uh, those Texas peppers in there. And then also, it's just so good because every bite is perfectly balanced with all the ingredients. You can find this at the new Rustic. Oh. Uh, we open by the Galleria at Post Oak in 610. Uh, we're thinking January, or July 6th is probably going to be the opening date. You can follow me on Instagram, though, at Kyle Noonan. Uh, to get the date, because I'll, I'll, live, I'll live stream and give up to the minute information so that you can find out exactly when we're opening and when you can get the Caesar salad in person. Well, Kyle, we're drooling over here. That salad looks amazing. I love that it was kicked up a notch, Texas style, and congratulations on the new location there at Uptown Park. Can't wait to see you there soon. And um, for the complete recipe, you can go to our website, HoustonLife.tv. Great to see you, Kyle. Thanks again. Thank you so much. Appreciate seeing you guys again. Yeah, see you at the restaurants. And still ahead on Houston Life.